Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth Stores of Dharma and this is your Dose of Dharma for today. So the next blessing is called Realization of Nibbana. So the realization of Nibbana is also considered as a blessing. Why? What is Nibbana? Nibbana is the total immersion from craving. So is the attainment of Nibbana or the reviewing of it is called realization. So over here, it refers uh, in in the in the Mangala Sutta commentary. Actually, here realization of nibbana means the fruit of arahantship, eh, which is total cessation of defilements. Right. So why is it a blessing? Well, just imagine you don't have any defilements in the mind. Your mind is full of love, even when you meet up with different circumstances, difficult circumstances. You do not suffer from negative emotions anymore. You do not suffer from jealousy, depression or anything else anymore. Your mind is always eh, bright and no defilements can arise in the mind anymore. No matter what happens outside. No matter what happens to you. So surely that is a blessing indeed, right? There is the ultimate peace in life. And... Of course, we're talking about when you realize the path and fruition of Arahanship, then there will be no more rebirth. And some people say, oh, Bandi, how do I know? I never practice uh, meditation to that, to that level. How do I know whether uh, uh, Nibbana is good for me? How do I know, like, you know, why do I want to be free from the rounds of rebirth? Well, this one... For this question, maybe you have to keep it in view until you realize uh, Nibbana or the path and fruition of Arahanship. But at least at the very moment when you, when we uh, try to practice the Dharma correctly with the right attitude and our thoughts, our speech, our behavior is in accordance with Dharma that leads to uh, happiness, then at the, in the present life we are happy, isn't that so? So there are some, in the Buddhist teaching, there are three levels of wisdom. First, the, the wisdom that is derived from listening. And second, the, the wisdom that is derived from uh, contemplating. After you listen, you contemplate. And the third type of wisdom is the wisdom from meditation and mental development. Hmm? It is... And one level is higher than the other. Okay. So how sometimes it's difficult uh, for for us to use the contemplation wisdom to judge what is a result of or what is a phenomenon derived from the wisdom uh, uh, that we get from meditation or uh, mental development. Because it's just it's just beyond concept, you know. It's just beyond it. So that's why, uh, that's why, uh, uh, if somebody is a skeptic, well, I would like to say that, okay, uh, you have your ideas, but, well, at least look at, you know, try to verify the Buddhist teachings in your present life. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Is it true or not? Is it true when you have an action, you have a reaction of some sort? So, when we contemplate like this, and when we analyze like this, we find that many times eh, in life, many things are made out of cause and effect. There are lots of cause and effect in the present life. Then with this, eh, we may have some faith in the Buddha's teaching, but we also know that there are some cause and effect that has to be verified by meditation and mental development. So don't be in a rush to brush things off, you know. Just keep it in view. And if you're interested and it helps with your life, you have a better life now, continue to explore, continue to do this great experiment uh, that is leading uh, to the total cessation of suffering and to ultimate happiness. All right, And hopefully uh, everyone will have this uh, good, pure desire of course, it's without, hopefully it's without attachment, but uh, hopefully everyone will have this pure desire to verify the Buddha's teachings, to look into the Buddha's teachings, what are the Dharma that can bring you happiness, 
and may everyone be able to practice this and ultimately verify the Buddha's teaching all the way up to path, fruition and uh, Nibbana of an Arhanship. Okay, so with this, uh, this is the dose of Dharma for today. I wish all of you to be uh, well, peaceful and happy and may the Shubha Jain bless all of us to be able to attain path, fruition and Nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.